controversy struck in the Euro 2024 semi-final as England's penalty against the Netherlands sparked heated debates. Was it the right call? Stay tuned as we uncover why ITV's refereeing expert, Christina Onkel, insists the penalty shouldn't have been awarded. Wondering why England's crucial penalty decision in the Euro 2024 semi-final has divided opinions? Stick around as we delve into Christina Onkel's expert analysis on why the call should have been overturned according to VAR rules. In the semi-final clash, England fell behind early but soon equalized when Harry Kane converted a penalty after being fouled by Denzel Dumfries. The initial on-pitch decision was no penalty, but VAR official Bastian Dankert advised referee Felix Swayer to review the incident, leading to the controversial penalty award. Christina Onkel, ITV's refereeing expert, was clear in her stance, the penalty should not have been given. On X, she explained that the original no-penalty decision didn't meet the clear and obvious error COE, threshold required for VAR intervention. According to Uncle, VAR's role is to ensure maximum benefit, minimum interference, and this situation didn't qualify as a COE. Uncle emphasized that VAR was created to correct glaring mistakes, such as the hand of God scenarios or serious foul play, not for marginal calls. The high threshold for VAR recommendations means that about 90% of the football community should expect the recommended decision once they see the video evidence. In this case, the decision to review and overturn the original call was not aligned with these principles. Despite VAR determining Dumfries' tackle was reckless, leading to both the penalty and a yellow card, Uncle argued that the context of the contact was crucial. Dumfries' action was a natural attempt to block the ball, and the contact with Kane's foot didn't warrant a penalty under UEFA's high intervention standards. Uncle maintained that the original decision should have stood without VAR's recommendation. The decision caused outrage among the Dutch players and coaches. Virgil van Dijk, booked for dissent during the game, expressed his frustration, noting the referee's quick exit post-match. Ronald Koeman, the Netherlands coach, echoed this sentiment, stating that Dumfries' action was a legitimate defensive play, not a foul deserving a penalty. Conversely, Harry Kane defended the decision, asserting he felt significant contact. There you have it, folks! Christina Uncle's expert breakdown on why England's semi-final penalty shouldn't have been awarded according to VAR rules. What are your thoughts on this contentious decision? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more in-depth sports analysis. Thanks for watching!